here we are a couple miles away from Marshall, Oklahoma, and, and you guys are doing some research here. Yes, this is our what we call our Marshall Wheat Pasture Research Unit. Uh, this is a collaborative research program between the Animal Science Department, uh, Plant and Soil Sciences, Ag Economics, and sometimes uh, Entomology and Plant Pathology. Our focus over here is on wheat pasture and more specifically a dual purpose wheat pasture. This is our main cattle facility where we receive cattle, uh, straighten these cattle out, get them ready to go to wheat pasture and, and so they'll just be here for that initial receiving phase. Talk a little bit about what goes into the receiving phase. Well, let, let's let's say uh, start with these cattle. Mm -hmm. uh, the selection of cattle and, and what cattle you want to bring in. These steers uh, originated on, on a ranch in north central Montana. Mm -hmm. um, they they arrived on October 27, so we've had them about uh, 23 days. Mm -hmm. uh, these calves are are. are fall barn, fall wean calves, of course. Uh, they're fairly young. The calving dates or calving interval for the, the larger cow herd is from about uh, March 20 to June 20. So some of these calves are really uh, pretty young. These cattle uh, are BQA certified. They've had a, a vaccinations for both respiratory disease and clostridial diseases. Uh, their health has been very good so far. In fact, this is the third year we've had these cattle and our experience every year has been that their health is excellent. From the standpoint of growth potential of these calves, uh, upward to 90%, maybe almost all of them, would be what we would refer to as large frame steer calves. Uh, number one, muscling, which is the highest score as far as Peter cattle scores for muscle thickness. Now, you said they've, you've, you've had them for 23 days. What's the target for moving them to wheat? Uh, the wheat dictates that. Yeah. You know, we would have liked to have had these cattle out uh, much sooner. We've got a fairly good amount of wheat as far as how many cattle we can put out on, on each of those 18 pastures. And so wheat becomes the, the taskmaster development of that as far as when they leave this uh, particular phase of, of the research project. Okay. Well, you want to go take a look at some of that wheat? That'd be great. Okay. And this is one of the 18 pastures that you're going to be moving the cattle to. Correct. Uh, looks green. Yeah. Looks pretty nice today. Uh, it's been a tough year as far as planting wheat. Uh, we've been very dry over here in general. Um, all, a lot of the rains that we've had in the state have either gone north or, or tur turned off to the south and it missed us. In August we had about 2.6 inches of rain, September 0.8 and October 1.3. Uh, as of November 10, the the drought monitor we were in, considered to be a moderate drought area as far as the drought monitor so uh, it was a little bit tough to plant, find the planting window because of the the really dry soils we had these pastures were planted on September 16 and uh, Luckily, we had a little bit of rain last uh, Monday morning and actually had about an inch of rain Monday or two days ago. So that's the latest rain that we've had here. So I brought a couple of uh, props as far as talking about, well, how much wheat do we have? Uh, that basketball, if it's fully inflated, is nine and a quarter inches in diameter. Mm -hmm. That uh, softball is a 16 inch softball, which means it has a diameter of about five inches. And so uh, it's hard to tell the height today because of the wind, but there's places where we, we've got close to seven to eight inches of, of wheat forage. Why, why is Oklahoma such a great place for 
for cattle to graze wheat like this. Well, one of the really unique characteristics uh, about wheat pasture is it's really, uh, like a lot of things, it's a matter of timing. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the cow herds in the United States are spring calving herds. So calves are weaned in the fall, and so if, if those calves are in Montana, like the ones that we will be placing on wheat here, the, the native pastures are, are turning dormant. They're, they're, they're going to become really, really low in quality. They're just not at all suitable for growing cattle at, at any respectable rate or moderate rate of gain. Uh, of course, their winters are going to be a lot harsher than ours, and so they're about their only option is to put cattle in a, in a backgrounding facility and feed them a, a mixed diet or ship them somewhere else. And so wheat pasture in Oklahoma and the Southern Great Plains are a very unique resource because again, it comes at a time of the year when most of the nation's pastures are deteriorating, becoming dormant. I tell my students in Stocker Feedlot that you could be sitting in a cell barn in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, and know when it rained in, in the wheat area without ever seeing a, a weather report. It's, uh -huh. it's that dramatic sometimes as far as the effect on the market for those cattle. What are some of the things that, that you're going to be watching out for moving forward as the cattle are out here? Uh, once we get cattle out of receiving program onto wheat, our main health problem is bloat. A little bit of polyencephalomalacia, uh, which, is, is, which is particularly, I think, more prevalent for young calves like we're going to have, so we'll stay vigilant about looking for that. But bloat is, to, is the major health problem with cattle on wheat pasture. Some years we don't have hardly any, other years we'll have quite a bit. So it's a lot of keeping your fingers crossed as far as weather and growth of wheat, etc. Do you mind if we come back out throughout the research process and, and kind of catch up with you? Oh, that, that'd be great. It'd be interesting to look at, again, how the pastures develop, how the cattle develop, and uh, actually we'll take these cattle through a short uh, graze out period over here, so they'll be here uh, after the fall winter grazing, uh, they'll be here to about April 20. Mm -hmm. Well, great. From that point, they'll go on to the feedlot. Okay. Well, well, we'll check back with you throughout that time. You bet. Thank you.